All right, it's day 48 of the Sunchoke series. I have a Korean radish series that's going on in the background, besides the sweet onion slices. I have this jar lid on all the time now. I spray like two or three times a day with a, a dilute fertilizer solution. So there's been leaf development, and it's been 34 days for this tuber, but I feel like the growth pace is glacial, so... I'm going to raise the water level, add some hydrogen peroxide, and add more fertilizer so I can have these roots soaking in nutrients and water around the clock. And I'll see if that helps things because I've noticed after I spray this, and it is exposed to about 5,000 lux of light, you know, the roots dry out first and then the leaves stay wet. Kind of a bad combo, so... I might as well just try different things to see if I can get this thing to grow a lot faster. All right, so here's my setup with the nice leaves on top. I'm gonna start off with this bottle of dilute fertilizer solution to raise the water level. I might as well just pour it all over the foliage and roots to give them a good head start. So I didn't have much of that left in this bottle, but um. Here's some more of that miracle Grow singles. You know, this is a taped up packet that I've been using sparingly. I think I'll get a little bit more aggressive and get everything all blue because I don't think I've been adding enough nutrients to any of these plant projects. So things are kind of stunted in terms of uh, developmental speed. And let's see, I have my 3% hydrogen peroxide solution. Pour in some of that. That's plenty. And for the rest, I'll just get some water. Have another spray bottle full of distilled water. And I can use that. to top off the water levels. And I won't cover the new foliage. Looks like it, I'll need a little bit more water. So perhaps this is overkill in terms of volume. I have undissolved crystals down there. I think I'll maybe just get this in the Pyrex cup because this tuber has a bit of a tendency to float. And I don't want those leaves, the new ones that are healthy, just soaking in hydrogen peroxide. I only want the roots. You know, what I had was gross overkill, so I simplified things, and this saves a lot of volume. There's a fair bit of hydrogen peroxide in there. Should take care of the mold problem. And I have the shoots above water. I'm going to spray with a little bit of distilled water to wash any hydrogen peroxide fertilizer excess stuff off the shoots and hope for the best and hopefully things will take a turn for the better and growth will really accelerate now that this is low lying compared to where it once was relative to the lights i can push it out into the middle let me get my lux meter Let's see so yeah 6,000 something, that's perfect. And we'll see if growth really accelerates. Uh, the tuber was drying out before I started having the lid for the jar on. But you know, now that I don't even have this jar, it's one of those situations where you're like, well, did I just buy a glass jar for nothing? But it was just really cheap. I can use it for other stuff. I'm sure you've all been there all experimenting around with different uh, growing implements and setups. So um, hopefully these roots will get water around the clock. If not, I can spray a little bit more and make sure they're soaked. Uh, the tuber does have a bit of a tendency to float, so it can shift around if I don't do things right, and that's problematic.